James Kaufman, World News Report. Today, today's August 5th, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. As reported, they turned on all the KP indexes as the major part of the solar storm hit. According to the estimated planetary KP index, the only index that was on during the duration of this event, we had 9 hours of geomagnetic disturbance followed by 12 hours of geomagnetic storms maxing out at a G3. Unbelievable. And now, all of a sudden this morning, we have two large M flares. First off, this looks like about a M1.6, according to GOES, that actually falls below into sea territory, followed by an M, what they're calling an M2.1. And ladies and gentlemen, this was basically one event and caused a new proton storm, causing a radiation storm and a polar absorption event during our geomagnetic storm. This, ladies and gentlemen, is scary. Everything that just happened, the two M flares are being attributed to sunspot AR3386 right here. Remember, as they face the big gas giants, they seem to pop off one after the next. The really freaky thing is the actual storm started at 0 0.00 UTC time and there's no solar wind or plasma in event mode. And yes, there was a bump up and that did occur within the first three hours, but that really settled back down. The solar winds never got terrible and this jumped under 10 centimeters cubed and just barely recovered. I don't know what caused this huge geomagnetic storm, although there was a 19 in there. These are in between 10 and 20 centimeters cubed. And then as the event ends, if you will, we pop down with no plasma whatsoever. The temperature did not really move with the plasma. Look at this here. As the plasma stays high, temperatures go down to nothing. Solar winds really aren't moving. They moved up at first with plasma, which makes zero sense. And yes, in fact, this cause, this double M flare, caused a polar event, a polar absorption event, and a proton storm, as you will see. Unbelievable. So we're having a radiation storm and a geomagnetic storm all at one time. I don't remember this ever happening. We're taking a look at GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager here. GOES starts after the event, so we're actually going to have to bounce over to STO to see if we can catch it. Over to the D Region Absorption Prediction Center. Please remember this was caused by the M flare, not the geomagnetic storm hitting. We're looking at the radiation here, and we see the first part of the M flare. It actually starts. That polar absorption event, and it just intensifies radiation pouring in the South Pole and North Pole, being ionized. Unbelievable. How could this occur while we're in a geomagnetic storm? There's a lot of radiation out there right now, ladies and gentlemen, and that is since the event We've had nothing but a polar cap absorption event, i.e. a radiation storm and a G3 geomagnetic storm. All right, we are able to see this storm. You can see how active 3386 is. The first one's going to hit and knock the camera out, and you can see it blasting right there, the big M flare. We'll see if we can see it at 171 angstroms here. Coming quick, this is the sunspot we're looking at. There's the first one, hits Earth, and we see the second one going off a bit. There it is right there. A big deal, ladies and gentlemen. Much easier to see on 193 angstroms over here. Watch it start to pop here right about the right time. 
the impact of Earth. Tell me it doesn't have an Earth component, the X-ray absorption, and you can see it goes off again right there. Unbelievable. So to summarize, we're having a geomagnetic storm, as you can see here by the KP indexes that have conveniently been turned back on, while at the same time we had an Earth-directed solar flare with an associated coronal mass ejection or two, and that caused a proton storm, which in turn caused a polar absorption event, i.e. this is the radiation storm, a polar absorption event all day here on Earth. This is the first of its kind for this space and sky watcher. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. So, y'all stay safe out there. It is rocking and rolling, and our sun is active. God bless. Share. Subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.